In other news now, following continuous advancement of information communication technology, ICT, federal government has been urged to invest more in science, technology, education and mathematics, STEM education of the country. An educational stakeholder, Tiwalade Akingbade, disclosed this at the 2024 graduation and prize given ceremony of Great Standard Montessori Model School at Belkota Dogon State Capital. Akingbade, who also doubles as the chairman of the school, said it is high time the APEX government took deliberate efforts in investing in the nation's digital education so as to ensure that its students were not left behind by their peers in other clubs. Because the world is going digital, so we cannot just stay stagnant. The board that is using to display is what we are using in their classrooms. That's the body. We call it interactive board. That's what we are using in their classroom. Unlike when we were in school at their, their age, we are using blackboard. The world has gone digital. And what is keeping all nations now is digital economy. Because the crude when time comes, the crude, we may not see it as we are seeing it now. We may not explore it as we are exploring it now. But digital, IT, is what the, if you can see the number of the most richest people, most of them based on digital economy. So I'm passing these messages to the state government, including the federal government, to invest more in technology to promote our education. Now, King Bade, who is also the state secretary of the Road Transport Employers Association of Nigeria, and also appealed to parents and guardians to ensure they give their children qualitative and quantitative education that they deserve. So my advice to people is that education is not expensive, and we should not just take this our economy as an excuse. Let us try hard and give our children the education they the deserve because we are in computer age. You can see what these people are, what these kids are demonstrating over there with their age. So tell me if they now mature in the future, can somebody just brainwash them to come and detonate bomb planting in them to come to commit suicide? No, because they have gotten experience, they have been why they have been taught that no, this life you need this thing, you need that thing. You cannot believe that because of whatever guys may be religious or something, you can just kill yourself and kill people. It is ungodly. So um Advising my our people, we know that the situation of our economy is somehow notwithstanding. If we invest in our children today, we will gain it tomorrow. Speaking on the theme of the event, Unleashing Potential, the proprietress of the sec of the school, rather, Mrs. Nafisa Akingbade noted that the Citadel of Learning has maintained its standard of excellence in order to ensure that the pupils get the right knowledge. As we gather to commemorate this milestone, we reflect on the transformative power of education. Our team, Unleashing Our Potentials, is a testament to the boundless capabilities that lie within each of our learners. Over the past two years, our institution has witnessed remarkable growth with a significant increase in enrollment underscoring the trust and confidence you, our parents, have reposed in us. This achievement is a direct result of the trust and confidence you, our parents, have placed in us. Our pupils have demonstrated exceptional academic prowess, creativity, and innovation, showcasing their remarkable talents and skills. We have nurtured their potential, and they have risen to the challenge embody the essence of our institution's mission. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.